guys, it's Jen and Nat. I'm Jen. And I'm Nat. And today we have a very chill video. Or this week, since last week was so a lot. hectic. <laughs> so today we decided to do a little mukbang slash... I say mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> slash, like, life update, um, story times, funny story times. Just chat one on one with you guys. Yeah. We gotta have a little talk. Also, if you feel if you hear some whining, <laughs> my it's Milo. It's Milo outside the door wanting to get in. We're very hungry, so you should tell them about your major. So recently, I decided to change my major. Um, before I was Justice Studies concentration in Criminology, but I decided to just change to Justice Studies. So I'm in the process of doing that. And then I recently just added a minor for sociology. Um, I've taken a few classes from sociology and I really like like the concept around it. So I decided to just add that minor in. And I just got approved just like five minutes ago before starting. So that's really excited. I needed something to get me excited about school again because recently I've been thinking about dropping out, but not really dropping out, but you know, everyone has those thoughts. I'm a biochem major. Tell us your... No. You, but she's been stressed, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> this poor girl, I don't know how she does it, honestly. I don't. <laughs> How's your love life? <laughs> I knew we were going to ask that. I currently don't have one. I like to think that I don't. Why are you smiling? Huh? Why are you smiling? I'm not. I don't have one. Stop the cow. <laughs> Ditto. Stop the cow. <laughs> Uh. How are we post? Um, oh yeah, break? yeah. Pretty good. Feeling great still. Yes. Also, it felt really good to sleep in. I worked out this morning. I worked out before this video. Wow, you're a morning gal. Yeah. I used to never like afternoon workouts. Really? Yeah. I would only do early or night. But yeah, she used to do people who do night workouts. I don't know how they it's do it. Fun. I can't. Being in the gym at night is, I don't know, something about it. Especially because 24 had a basketball court. Oh, that's true. That's what I want to talk about. This summer, me and Nat want to start vlogging. Like, twice a week, but technically one a week since mm -hmm. it's different. Yeah. Plus our videos. Um, Yeah, we want to vlog this summer because we have a lot of eventful things coming on this summer. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be outside. Just have fun with it. I yeah. feel like me. It'll make summer more eventful. Yeah. So stay tuned for those. Yeah. I feel like everyone's so excited for summer, especially now because we've been locked up for damn near a year. And more people are getting vaccinated. Yes. What'd you get? Boba. Oh yeah. I got Earl Grey milk tea, 30 sweetness, 30 ice. Who's Earl? With boba. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a plain cheeseburger <laughs> with animal fries. I got, don't clown me, okay? I don't usually get this. She was craving it. Yeah, I was craving taro milk tea. <laughs> so I got taro milk tea. And then for in and out. Dog did. And then for in and out, I got animal fries and then animal style grilled cheese. Going back to the topic earlier on college. You'll be in with someone that you're friends with, but not really. It'll be quite challenging. Like, it go either way. You can either become really close or it'll just be awkward. No. <laughs> Overall, I think living... Living like with friends, I think it's like the best ex like college experience you Heck can yeah. get. It was really fun. Yeah, the freedom was more fun too. Mm -hmm. And it was fun just like seeing your the friends that you're like really really close with, like seeing each other every day. Yeah, and just like getting to like experience new things together that we've never done. We would literally like walk party streets to find a party. <laughs> oh yeah, we would we just drive. <laughs> yeah, we would just drive down streets. We would ask people walking because usually when people are walking, they're walking to a party. Mm -hmm. We would literally roll down our window and be like, where's the party? <laughs> I feel like everyone in college does that though. Everyone was just looking for a good time. Yeah. We only tried so hard <laughs> to get into this one party. <laughs> oh my god! And this was like an, ex an exclusive party that they were, they were only letting in certain people in. Yeah. And then I think one of the guys finally convinced them to let us in. Mm-hmm. For the other the guys. We were, I think we were waiting outside for at least 25 minutes, probably. I felt like it was longer. Like 30 minutes. 30, 45 max. Yeah. And then, we met some friends, but they ended up being weird. Yeah. <laughs> really weird. Anyway, 
we finally got let in. <laughs> and we were also we were so excited. We were so like, yeah. Pumped. yeah, we they had lights. The it was, lights. It was like had strobing. A smoke detector and everything. Yeah. It felt like a Halloween dash. Yeah. <laughs> dash. What's up? Dash. Oh. <laughs> the house was pretty nice too. Unless after like half a song that finished, they were like, okay, everyone out. <laughs> to another apartment some sketch apartment but it'll be fun college apartments are really small so just imagine mm. like 50 people in one little apartment and then the outside like oh the my complex. god we were all in the one apartment yeah and then we moved to mm -hmm. the outside that was funny that was, a, that was a night oh i have an experience that i've never done before what i went to my first concert by myself Mm. Me and our other friend went with her, oh, but not with her. Yeah. So originally it was like a um, a Halloween festival concert, and the who was there? The performers were Series of Gemini, Waka Flocka, oh, yeah. like so random. But I was like, you know what, Sage of Gemini, I'm going for Sage. So random. Yeah. And then I think it was them two, and then like a DJ, and supposedly I was gonna go. Our other friend and our other friend was gonna go. Jen was gonna go originally, were you? Oh, they were gonna go? Yeah, they were oh. all gonna go. And like I think it was like like two days before one of our friend had an exam that she forgot about, I think. But she still went. went. But she yeah. She went with me. And Jen that day was already going to school to the gym. And so she took me. I rode with her back to school with our other friend. <laughs> and she did the exam in the <laughs> basketball court. She was playing. And I went to the concert by myself with some <laughs> random girls that I met there. And we went together. And it was actually, I had so much fun that night. It was so funny. But it was a good time. Like, me and her became friends. I never talked to her again. But, like, it was fun for the night. It was still fun for the night. That's crazy. Because you don't ever know how many games you're going to play. Mm -hmm. But we ended at the same time. Yeah. And then I also met friends, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. We follow each other, and that's it. <laughs> he was like, hit me up when you want to play it. <laughs> hit her up if you want to run fives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun, though. I miss those, like, college experiences. The late nights, when you don't have homework the next day. Mm, yeah. Like, one night, when me and Jen, we stayed up watching the show. The, what's it called? Rhythm and Flow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and her stayed up watching like the last couple episodes because they were so good and we were in the living room like freaking yelling. It was intense. If you guys seen it, you know. Me and Jen never had homework and we were just goofing around in the living room. That's what I'm concerned. Yeah, while our other friend was just doing homework the whole time. We were distracted too and make her have fun too. Mm -hmm. Any other story times? It's fun. I'm having a blast. <laughs> now I have voice stories. I don't have any voice stories. <laughs> mm. Jen has some boy stories. Men stories. If you shall. What is it? If What's you dare? No, if you... I don't know. I don't know. Can I even say? Guys, this story is like... I was flabbergasted. <laughs> I was... My mind was blown. I was... I was... <laughs> taken off my seat. When this happened, I called her and Joy right away. Our friend from our Truth or Drink video. Mm -hmm. So are you gonna... Are you gonna enlighten us with the with the story? On what? You know what? The time when when an NBA player <laughs> They're not gonna believe it. DM Jennifer. And if you don't believe us, we got the receipts to prove it. I don't know. Like this video that was tiny. Should I say the team or no? No. I was Okay, hold on. When did it happen? Oh. Wow, exactly. Ten PM November thirtieth. I don't know if I get oh, okay. okay, believe or not, whatever, I don't really yeah. care. It happened, but I don't care if you believe it. So, I remember there was this NBA player, and I seen that their brother <laughs> had not a lot of followers, so I guess... Well, I liked the player at the time, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just follow the brother. So I followed his brother, and the brother followed me back. This was like a while back, like maybe high school. He still watches my stories. <laughs> yeah, but this is the brother. In November, I recently followed him for some reason. Like, expecting nothing of it. And then, like, five, ten minutes later, they DM me. They as in him? The as player? in the NBA player. DM me. Mm -hmm. Saying, LOL, how do you know my brother? If we were to give you guys uh, the team he played with, you won't look at it the same. And it's not who you think it is. I said, did you get hacked or something? Because
because I was like, why is this a verified account? Yeah. NBA player. Haha, <laughs> nah. But let's act like it. K. Okay? And then if that was any other person, I would have stopped there. But she's verified and she's NBA. Mind and you, an NBA player is making conversation with Jen. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Sweet little Jen. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what was going through his head. And this man is married. Okay. Yeah, not to mention. Keep that in mind. Married with kids. kids. With kids. kids. He was tired of talking to me about college, how he misses it, and how that was the best time of his life. He was like asking like genu genuine questions. Yeah. And then, this is the weird part, he said to shoot me a text. LOL. He put his number. Oh my god. So me and Joy and I were like, yeah. <laughs> so we texted the number. He would ask like what I do for my free time. I said, oh, I have my bakery, Jen's Bakery. And then he wanted some. He wanted me to make him bakery goods and drop it off at his hotel. He wanted to see her. He wanted to meet up. I was like, oh, I guess I can next week. And he was like, next week? He wanted it now. <laughs> he wanted that night. He wanted Mind you, like 12 midnight. Bro, yes. Uh, Obviously, she didn't go. I didn't go. He was like, what on your profile made me want to DM you? And this man, <laughs> this man, he said, my caption on one of my pictures and it's this picture this picture I'm at the beach and it said second time's a charm you guys see and then that's what he said I was like what is it he said second time's a charm lol ew what and I was like what like it didn't <laughs> it didn't come to my head it was like my caption and then he was like that's a nice white top you got there and scroll to this picture <laughs> that is so weird. Like, he went to your profile, copied and pasted the same caption. He didn't like it, though. Right. He, he didn't get caught in 4K. <laughs> right. And then he basically asked to come through at his, his hotel. He was like, what do you recommend? And I was like, oh, I think your kids would like the crown. Oh, and yeah. Jen, that was all Jen or Jen. <laughs> After he said to come through, I was like, don't you think your wife would mind? Like, what? And then he was like, He's the audacity. He said, I don't know what you tell her. I was like, no, but I ain't no homewrecker either. Even if he wasn't married, I still wouldn't. Just remember yeah. that. And he was like, my family's out and whatever. My yeah. testosterone's really high. I'm alone. And I was like, you can't make up for that. When he, yeah, when he said that, that made me realize, like, NBA players, they really have a lot of free time away from their family. So who knows? What they do, yeah. no matter what. Something, something came up and he was like, we're homies now. Yeah, that's it. Now they're homies now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But if I texted, he replied because we tried it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the story <sighs> of the time an NBA player DM Jen. Don't oh, talk man. to Jen, you know. She's NBA <laughs> verified. Or <laughs> I was like, you really turned out an NBA player. Since we are done eating, I think that is the end of our mukbang mukbang. That is going to be it for this week's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all our social media. Everything will be linked down below. Comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from us. For the summer especially. Yes, please. We need your suggestions to see what you guys are interested in. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your lovely Monday. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks, Thanks for doing life with us. Bye. Bye.